Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 10.1a on our series on circles and chords. We're going to be looking at the relationship between the measures of central angles and intercepted arcs. So the type of problem we're going to be going over in this presentation is given here. Find the measure of arc AB. I'm given this scenario right here where you have a central angle of 35 degrees. Don't forget we have some practice problems at the end of this presentation for you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this tutorial. All right, so this is the multi-part problem we're gonna be working on. Uh, given circle E, okay, right here and segments AD and BC through the center E, uh, we're to find the given measures A to D, uh, to E, okay? All right, so to get us started, we're gonna take a look at the theorem, a central angles theorem that's going to guide our problem solving process. So to do that, we're gonna to go to our website, mathgoodserve.com, go to geometry, and then we're just gonna scroll down to uh, the theorems and postulates. On the circles, we have the central angles theorem. All right, so this is what it says. Um, so given this circle right here, it's the central angle theorem says, states that the measure of a central angle is equal to the measure of the intercepted arc. Okay, so we have a circle right here. We have a central angle ACB and intercepted arc. So the central angle theorem is just telling us that the measure of angle ACB is equal to the measure of arc AB. Okay, all right, so keep that in mind. This is what we're going to be using to um, solve the problems in this tutorial. Okay, let's start with 1A. We want, you need to find a measure of um, arc AB. So let's write that down. So part A, we need to find, find the measure of arc AB. All right, so to figure this out, we're gonna use the central angle theorem. So we need to find what the central angle is because that's exactly what the measure of the intercepted arc is. So what is the related central angle to arc AB? So this is arc AB right here. The central angle is angle AEB, okay? So let's state what the um, central angle theorem is. So it tells us that the measure of the central angle, angle AEB, is equal to the measure of the intercepted arc AB. Okay, what are we given? We're given the measure of the uh, central angle AEB as um, 35 degrees. So if using the central angle theorem that tells us that the measure of arc AB is automatically going to be 35 degrees. Okay, so there goes the answer to 1A. All right, let's go to part B. So for part B, we have to find the uh, measure of angle AEC. Okay, so what's the relationship between the measure of angle AEC? Let's mark it on the circle AEC and this angle that we're given right here. Well, it forms a straight line since um, CB, chord CB goes through the center. All right, we know that the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. They form a linear pair, right? The linear pair postulate. So we have the measure of angle AEC. Since it's a linear pair with the given angle AEB, so we know that 180 minus the measure of angle AEB will give us the measure of angle AEC. Think of them as supplementary angles. So AEC is a supplement of AEB, which basically means that it end add up to 180. Okay? So we are given the measure of angle AEB as 35 degrees. So we can just substitute this measure into the formula, the relationship we have up here, to find the measure of angle AEC. So the measure of angle AEC is going to be 180 minus, carry out the substitution, 35. And then when you subtract the 2, you get um, 145 degrees. So the measure of angle AEC is 145 degrees. 
All right, part C, we have to find the measure of arc VD. Okay, so let's do that. Let's put in the things we have so far. So this is 35 right here, it's also 35. And then um, AEC, we just found that to be what? 145. Okay, now we need to find a measure of arc BD. So we're gonna find this right here, the measure of this intercepted arc relative to central angle BED. Okay, so um, what can help us find this out? Well, if we look at um, measure of arc A, B, and B, D, they form a linear pair. So if you go from here all the way to here, that's angle along a straight line, okay? This entire central angle right here is 180 degrees because it's a linear pair. So the um, arc itself will also be, the intercepted arc will also be equal to that, which will also be... 180 degrees okay all right so that's one way of doing it another way we can do it is by finding out what the central angle is and then using that to find out what the intercepted arc is okay all right so let's go ahead and do that uh do, use a second approach but what we know is that the measure of the central angle bed is uh equal to the measure of the intercepted arc bd all right so let's find what um, angle BED is. Angle BED and AEC that we just found are vertical angles. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that down. We also know that a measure of angle BED is equal to the measure of angle AEC. You can use vertical angles approach or you can use supplementary angles approach if you want to use A. E, B, and B, E, D. We get the same thing, okay? All right, so we already found the measure of angle B, E, D in the previous problem. Uh, sorry, the measure of angle A, E, C in the previous problem. We found it to be 145. Okay, that was from part B. Okay, uh, so from that, we know that the measure of angle B, E, D is going to be 145 degrees also using um since they're vertical angles so there are basically three ways to solve this particular problem okay uh so we have that now let's substitute that into the original equation that we have so um the measure of arc bd since it's equal to the measure of arc central angle bed is also going to be 145 degrees Okay, so 145 degrees. All right, let's put in what we have so far. So this angle right here is also 145. Since they're vertical angles, and since the central angle is equal to the intercepted arc, this guy right here, arc BD, will also be 145 degrees. Okay, moving right along, um, part D, we are to find the measure of arc a, B, C. Oh, that's a big one. Measure of arc A, B, C. Okay. So we're going from here all the way to there. Now, what we know is that A, B is 35 and B, C um, is a linear pair. Okay. So if you look at it this way, if you go from here all the way let me change my color we go from here all the way to there that's going to be 180 degrees okay so you can say 35 plus 180 since this is a linear pair that gives you what the answer is okay so that's one way of, of looking at it but um let's go over it in a different way okay so the measure of arc a b c um, is, go is basically the measure of arc AB plus the measure of arc BD, right, plus the measure of arc DC. 
All right, so if you add all these arcs together, one, two, three, together, you have the measure of arc ABC, okay? All right, so some of these, we already know what they are. Um, we've, we're given the measure of arc AB, that's, what's that? That's uh, 35 degrees. And we also found the measure of arc BD, right? In part C, that one is 145 degrees. These two add up to 180. That shouldn't surprise you because AB plus BD form a linear pair, right? They're supplementary. How about this guy right here? Measure of arc DC. We know that DC and a, uh, the angle a, uh, CED and angle AEB are what? They are vertical angles. So this angle right here is congruent to this angle right here, okay? Just as this angle right here is, con is congruent to this angle right here, your vertical angles. All right, so these two are vertical angles. So let's go ahead and write that down. We know that um, the measure of angle AEB is equal to the measure of angle CED because they're vertical angles, right? So if that's the case, then the central angle CED is going to be equal to uh, 35 degrees, right? And then that follows that the measure of the intercepted arc DC is equal to 35 because the central angle, 35 degrees, let's put it in there, is equal to the intercepted arc. 35 degrees. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. So just add all these together and we are good to go. So let's go ahead and do the computation. We're just substituting these three values that we got. Okay. So this one, AB plus BD and then arc DC. So we have the measure of arc uh, ABC is equal to 35 plus 145 plus 35, okay? Out of those together, you get 215 degrees. All right, one more, and it will give you some practice problems. Okay, what is the uh, measure of arc CBD? So basically going from here all the way around to there, okay? Uh, so let's do that. So for part E, we're going to use a faster way for this one here, okay? I, I know you can already guess what the answer is. So for part E, we are to find the measure of arc CBD, okay? Now, arc CBD is almost a full circle, it's just that it's missing this part right here, arc CD. So let's write down a relationship. So the measure of arc CBD is full circle. What is full circle? 360 degrees, right? minus this missing piece right there, arc um, CD, bam. Because when you make a full circle, you get, uh, what do you get, 360, okay? All right, so let's make some substitutions so that we can um, solve this. What is the measure of arc CD? We know it's 35, right? Isn't that what we just look for somewhere here? Yeah. So the measure of arc CD measure of arc CD is equal to the measure of the central angle CED. They're the same thing, right? And then we know that the measure of that central angle is also equal to the measure of angle AEB. They're all the same. So whichever we look at it is going to come out to 35 degrees. Okay? So this is 35. So the measure of angle CBD is going to be full circle, which is 360 minus the angle measure of angle CD, which is 35 degrees. All right? When you carry out that computation, you will get 325 degrees as the measure of uh, arc CBD. Okay. 
Alrighty, so here are three practice problems that we'll like you to try out to demonstrate mastery of what we just covered. So go ahead and pause the video presentation at this time and try out these problems. When you're done, click on the playback button and we are going to reveal what the correct answers are. Alright, just a few more details for number three. Uh, the measure of angle UWV is 22 degrees and angle RWT is 90 degrees okay alrighty welcome back hopefully you had a chance to try out the practice problems here are your answers for questions one two and three so go ahead and check your uh, work at this time when you're done so let us know how well you did in the comment section below okay if you got them all right, go ahead and destroy that like button for us. If you have any questions, specify it in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to support you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video presentation with us. Um, don't forget to help support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with friends. Tons of support resources can be found at our website, as we indicated earlier, at mathgotserve.com on geometry. Um, or in the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.